Good morning, live from New York. Tuesday morning, May 1st. The, the season has begun. The season has begun. We're in the middle of it, guys. Time to rock and roll. So today what I want to do is practice um, the basic approach with a little bit of price pushback. And see what, what you're going to say when people say, yeah, 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 wait a minute. I want to come in, but what's the price? And you got to have your comeback. you got to have your your song ready to go. Right? Polished. You know, so um, uh, the thing the thing that is, I think, really cool about what we're doing here with you guys is that nobody, the competition is not practicing this morning, guaranteed. They're just not. So a little bit of time, half hour, 15 minutes every day practicing. You guys still practicing up by your store, Steve? Yes, sir. Yeah, good. Beautiful. We never got the uh, the outbound call thing going. We got to get that going too. Listen to some of them. You're all set to go on that, right? Yeah, we need to start doing that. You're right. Yeah, just to just to do it and listen and listen and give feedback. I think is powerful. But anyway, let's jump into it today. We could we could get on and off the call pretty quickly here. Uh, again, just as a reminder, the customers are going to be on automatic mode, price shopping. Right, looking for information and data, but underneath the facade, underneath that smoke screen, what they're really looking for is commitment from you to take care of them. Big commitment. So the bigger the commitment, when you're dealing with price shoppers, the bigger the commitment that you can make to change the conversation from one of price to one of long-term relationship to one of marriage, right? That's what you want to do is marry. You want to marry that customer for life with, as it relates to auto repair and tires. Okay. Trust is essential. You got to build trust. We got to build the relationship. That's the game. They got to have a sense in there. They're calling about price, 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 price. They may be myopic in their thinking that all they want is price, 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 price. Like I said, but ultimately the driving force is one of, uh, relationship, being becoming a part of, as JJ was saying last time, he said, look, we're a family down here at same day. The way he said it was really nice. He says, I want you to become down, become part of my family. I'm going to take care of you. Boom. That's what they want. You know, so here's what we're going to do. Um, we'll go around the room and practice a little bit. Um, and I want you to do box one, box two, and then, but the, whoever the customer is is going to say, wait, wait, wait a minute, Steve. I, I need to know what what's it going to run me. And then you got to go into, you got to really, that's where you really got to dig in, in box three here, you know, and just say, look, but, and you, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Now. I want to see where you guys are going to go with it. Okay. So let's have, uh, uh, so, so good. Let's have uh, Brian, you want to be the customer today, Brian? Sure. You be the customer? All right, good. So Brian's going to be the customer. He's going to call. Let's start out with Kevin. Are you there, Kevin? Yes, sir. All right, Kevin. So you, are my instructions clear, Kevin? I believe so. All right, good. Let's just go for it. So, Brian, you be the customer, and we'll listen. ring a ling a ling Thanks for choosing Pass Downtown Tar Pros and Repair. This is Kevin. How may I help you? Hey, Kevin, good morning. How much for an alignment? Uh, yes, I can definitely help you with that. Who am I speaking with? Brian. Hey, Brian, have you ever been done business with us before? No, I have not. Oh, well, you definitely called the right place. Let me check my schedule here. Brian, it looks like I can get you in right now or at 1 o'clock. Which one of those will work for you? Uh, one o'clock sounds perfect. How much is it going to cost? Well, uh, best thing to do would bring it in and we can, uh, do a check for you. I'll check it for you for free and then we can go from there. Will that work for you? Yeah, I mean, that'll work, but I'm 
pretty sure needs alignment. It's pulling real hard to the left, and I just put tie rod ends on. So just put some tie rod ends on looking, it. Looking looking for a price. Well, yeah, come on down. I've got ASE certified tech. I got one of the best alignment guys in town, and he can definitely take care of your needs. All right. Well, I already got a quote. I want to see if you can match it. Uh, well, we won't be beat on prices. What? What's your quote? Eighty-nine ninety-nine. Eighty-nine ninety-nine. Well, that's normally what we charge, but I got a ten-dollar coupon here that I'll let you have, and we'll do it for seventy-nine ninety-nine. Will that work for you? Yeah, that'll work for me. See you one right. o'clock. You want me to set you up for right now, or one o'clock sounds good. One o'clock. Okay, Brian. Uh, can I have a phone number? Yeah, two, 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 three. <laughs> All right, well, I got you down for 1 o'clock. Just ask for me. I'm Kevin, and I want to be your car guy, so we'll see you at 1. All right, thank you, Kevin. See you later. Thank you. So, uh, Kevin, that was good. How did you feel, Brian? Did you feel like he was avoiding your question? Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Not okay. uh, not terribly blatant, but yeah, I mean, obviously he wanted the appointment. Right, right. But I had to really dig to get the price. Right. So uh, something as simple as an alignment, um, I'm thinking here two things. One, I think you could give up the price a little bit earlier. Right. I, I like the the way you handled it in general, but I think if you say, look, my my alignments. For most cars, is only eighty nine ninety nine only, right? But what I want to do for you first is do the alignment check, no charge, because I want to be certain before I even go and do an alignment. I want to be certain that that's exactly what you need. How does that sound? And you know that sounds good. So it's at that point it's easy to say. How does that sound for you, Brian? Ninety nine times out of a hundred, say okay, that sounds good. So the other thing, the other thing, Kevin, is that I think you, 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 you use the power move. I want to be your car guy at the very end. Like I think it loses its impact there. You know, it's like asking your girlfriend out to dinner and, and, and after the dinner on the way, after you drop her off and say, by the way, I'd like to marry you. <laughs> it's the wrong time to say it. You want to say it at dinner. And hold out the ring while you're still sitting at the dining room table, and that, or at the, not the, you're still sitting at the restaurant in the restaurant under low the candle light and everything. So the timing, I think, on your "I want to be your car guy" was off. What do you think about that, Brian? As a customer, yeah, he could have threw that at the beginning. I thought there was uh, a lot of really good aspects to the call. He Maybe should have just given me the price a little quicker. Like I said on the last call, these guys, you know, they've done competitive market analysis. They know, you know, you're in the ballpark. And I think a lot of times when people are getting at price, like we said, they want the relationship. They want you to take care of them. But price is a factor, but it's a factor to just, you know, cut through the tall grass. If they call and you tell them, oh, 119, then, you know, okay, bye. But if you're 89 and that's around what they're getting, then you know when you give them, you know, you tell them about you want to be their guy, you got the greatest alignment tech in the state, boom, 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 right. build a relationship, then they're going to come in. So be confident in the price. And like he said, oh, I'll give you a $10 off coupon on top of that. It's like a no-brainer at that point. So, Boom, right, exactly, exactly. You but, know, if they're, if they're you, you dance around the price at the beginning, you go for the choice close. If they push back, you can't not give the price forever. So you give the price, but you gift wrap it, like yes. Dan says. Yep. So, uh, Kevin, let's try it again. And then we'll move over to uh, to Steve, and we got uh, Mike. Mike is with us now. Hi, Mike. How are you, buddy? Good morning. And the other observation I had, I think I said on the last call too, is especially with the tire calls when they push back on the tire price. I hear these 
reps having a lot of success when they just say, all right, well, I got them from, you know, 59 to 350 and everything in between. Come on down. Let's shop the market. Let's find something right for you. And right then and there, you're going to find out either they're going to say, I want the 59 or they're going to be like, oh, I don't want 50. I want something in the middle. And then, you know, you cut through the clutter and you, you, right. You get, get to the point. Yep. Let's, um, um, Kevin, try it again, right? And with the with the coaching in mind, I would weave in. I want to. It's not about one. It's not about one alignment. You know, it's not about doing one alignment for me. You know, it's it's got to be a much bigger relationship. And explain that to him in the beginning. Okay. Go ahead. Try it again, Brian. Ring a ling a ling. Thanks, Chief and Pat's downtown tire pros auto repair. This is Kevin. How may I help you? Yeah, how much for an alignment? All right. I can definitely help you out with that. Who am I talking with? Brian. Brian, have you ever been in our store before? No, I haven't. I just moved to the area. Shopping All right. Well, you definitely called the right place. Uh, hold on just a moment. Let me check my schedule. Uh, Brian, it's your lucky day. I can get to you right now or at 1 o'clock. Which one of those will work for you? Oh, it is my lucky day. One o'clock is actually perfect. But All how much right. Is well, let me it? in for one o'clock. Sure, uh, I need to make sure I got enough funds in my account. All right. Well, our alignments are only $89. And uh, actually, what I'd like to do is get it in and give you a free alignment check and make sure that's what your problem is. Well, okay, sounds good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it needs it, but... Uh, you could definitely give it a check first. Well, I've got the best alignment guy in town, and I definitely want to be your car guy, Brian. Uh, so 1 o'clock will work for you? Yes, sir. All right. Can I have a phone number, please? Yep, 222-2223. Two, 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 All right. Well, I got you in for 1 o'clock. I'm Kevin. Just ask for me, and I'll take good care of you. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Thank you. Kevin, much better. Much better. Right. Much better. Now, the only thing that's still missing, we're going to we'll come back to you. I want you to think about, you know, there's one piece that's missing. It's the, and you said you you woven. I want to be your car guy. What does that mean? What does that Forever. mean? Forever. Oh, but what does it mean? Ever permanently. Yes. But what does it mean? It means, look, it means, Kevin, I'm going to help you with your alignment, with your tires, with your brakes, with your alignments, with check engine lights. When you're, if you, God forbid, are broken down on the side of the road, I'm your guy. I'm going to be your. I'm going to take care of you and your family as it relates to automotive forever. That's what I do. And we're going to start today with the alignment. Boom. You see, so so you got to explain what does it mean to be the car guy. I want to be your car guy. Let me tell you what that means. Boom. So it's it's like, I want to marry you. What it means is I want to take care of you. I want to live with you for the rest of my life. I want to do real estate. I want to buy homes with you. I want to have children with you. I want to grow old with you. I want to go on a vacation with you. I want to spend my life with you. That's what it means. This is really powerful what we're talking about because it changes the conversation. So you did a great job on this. That was really good, right? And there's there's another gear to change it from just being about alignments to being about a much bigger relationship. So I want you to think about that. I'm going to come back to you again. Let me go over to Steve. All right, Steve? Ready to go? Uh, Kevin, Kevin, I want you to hear. Kevin, you call Steve. All right, go ahead. Give him a little pushback on something. Bring a little wing. Thank you for choosing Pat's Quell Creek Tire Pros and Auto Repair. This is Steve. I may assist you. Uh, yes, Steve. I need to get an alignment on my vehicle. All right. I can help you with that. Who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Have you ever done business with us before? No, I'm new to Oklahoma. Awesome. Welcome to the area. You've called the right place. Hold on just one moment. Let me check my schedule for you. All right, Kevin, I've got great news, sir. You can come in right now or at 2 o'clock. Which one works best for you? Uh, well, I can come down right now. Uh, but, Steve, how much is that going to be? Hey, no problem. I've got great news for you. Um, we're going to do a free alignment check for you today. If it's not out, there's no charge at all. 
Now, if it is out, let me tell you, we're going to get you a great deal on that. We've shopped the market already. Um, our normal price is $89.95. I've got a $20 off coupon I can apply to that for you today. How's that sound? Oh, that sounds great. All right. Good deal. You know, I just want you to know I'm going to be your car guy forever. I want to take care of all of your automotive needs. Anything you need with that vehicle, we're here to take care of you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put you in at, at 1 o'clock. Let me get a phone number so I can lock you in. Uh, four, 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 four. Okay. When you come in, just ask for me. My name is Steve and I'll take great care of you. All right. Thank you. Thank nice. You. Nice. How did that sound? I thought the context there was much bigger, Kevin. Do you see what, what, what uh, Steve had done? Yeah, that's great. It, it wasn't. It, I'm all the way down there right now, man. I'm going to be early. <laughs> Good. Excellent work. Excellent work. Let's go to, uh, let me go to, how did, I mean, how did that make you feel the way he handled that? That uh, made me feel great. Right? You're part of something much bigger. Not just about whatever you were calling about. It's much bigger than that. Bigger game. Um, Steve, I want you to call Mike Agliata. Okay. It made me feel like I was walking around on my father's shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? What do you mean by that, Brian? You know, like secure, like he grabbed right, me, okay. put, put, put me on his shoulders, and away we went. There you go. Right. Yeah, fabulous. Secure, part of a family, big commitment. Smooth, nice, easy, gentle. But, yeah, it was really, really, really cool. Um, let's go to Mike Ugly. Uh, Mike, you ready to roll? Yes, sir. Go ahead, Steve. Ring, ring. Thank you for calling Same Day Auto Repair. This is Mike. How can I help you? Yeah, I need to uh, get an alignment on my vehicle. Yeah, I can help you out with that. Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name's Steve. Steve, have you ever done business here before by chance? That's my first time calling you guys. First time? Well, Steve, you definitely called the right place. I'm going to do everything in my power to take care of you. And I also got a guy on standby, man. He's been with me 15 years, and he can knock your lineman out, no problem. And I can get you in right now, or I can take care of you right after lunchtime at 1 o'clock. Would one of those times work for you today? Uh, yeah, uh, 1 o'clock will work. How much is that going to cost me? All right, Steve, I'll put you down for one. And what we'll go ahead and do is I'll have my guy get you in at 1 o'clock, and we'll do a free alignment check. It's absolutely no cost to you. That way I can verify and make sure that it is an alignment you need. You may have a tire that's low on air pressure. may just need to get it aired up real quick. But I'll go ahead and do a full check for you, no cost. And my alignment, they start at $59.95. But I got you down at 2 uh, – sorry, I got you down at 1 o'clock for you with my guy, Paul. And uh, we'll get you rocking and rolling, man. When it's a good phone number, I'll save you down. Okay, sounds good. It's uh, two, 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 two. All right, Steve, when you come in, ask for me. My name is Mike. I'll get you right in and get you taken care of, buddy. All right, thank you. You're welcome. I, how overall, Steve, how did that, if you're a customer, how did that make you feel? I think it was pretty good. I'm going to go see him. It sounds like he's he's uh, on top of things. He's ready to take care of me. It? it really did. That's a good way to put it, on top of things. Competent professional what coaching would you have for him feedback wise uh, I, I think he nailed it personally i think he did a great job i, I can't think of anything i would change the only thing that i liked I, it i liked it too i think he moved it right along and it gave the impression that when i come in it's going to be quick and snappy and efficient service like that too yes I think it was fabulous, Michael. Really good, good work. The only thing I would add in there is is is, is put a stake in the ground that that again, this is not only about alignments, but it's about brake jobs, it's about tires, it's about you know check engine oil, ch everything. I'm here to be to take care of you. Period. End of story. I'm here yeah. to be your car guy. You know, big because it changes one from it changes the conversation from one of a price on whatever they're calling about to it's a, it's a much bigger, much bigger relationship. Big, 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 big oh, no. relationship. Oh no, I, I agree 100% because there's been plenty of times where I'm talking to a customer and you know they'll sit there and do an oil change or something totally different and I'd be like, man, 
I notice your tires. And they're like, yeah, I know I need tires. I got an appointment with, oh, I say, well, I do tires here. Oh, you do? And, you know, or something different. Oh, you do. I had a guy the other day, he came in for diagnostic work and I took him home and he ended up telling me, you know, I got to bring it to the dealership to get oil change. I'm like, well, I can do an oil change. He's like, oh, I I didn't know that. And so I asked him how much he normally paid. He said he pays 35. I said, I'll do it cheaper. So, I mean, I got something else out of it. You know, it's an upsell right there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I get it all the time. But if people don't know what you do, then you're never going to have the opportunity to, you know, you're never going to have the opportunity to sell. You're not going to ever, that's how I feel about it. So I try to make everybody know, you know, I, I pretty much tell everybody I do everything except paint and body. I do everything head to toe, electrical, AC, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people eat that up. Yeah. So, and, and uh, you know what I love about what you're doing? I love your cadence. You're, you're, when you're on the phone, you got to talk a little faster with people because their minds, remember they're machines, they're on automatic mode. Their minds are going to wander. And so you, your job is to keep their attention. And you do that by, by energy, upbeat, and having your, and, and really singing the song in such a way that the song captivates them. And you did that. I'm not saying you didn't do that. You did captivate Steve when you did that. And he said so. The only, my only point was just to add a little icing on the cake. You know, you had he's he's he bought the cake, but you, he didn't he didn't get the sprinkles. You know, you want the sprinkles. <laughs> yeah, you know. Anyway, so that's 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 my only feedback. Good work, buddy. Good work. Excellent. Let's go, let me go back to uh, Kevin. So Kevin, I want uh, Mike. I want you to call Kevin, and Kevin, just do it, do it again. This time, make, create that. Go for the big relationship, Kevin. Just stop and put a stake in the ground and say, let me tell you why I want you to come down here. Boom. And then explain what what it means, what it means to be the car guy. Okay, go ahead, Mike. Call cool, Kevin. Ring a ling a ling. Thanks for choosing Pat's Downtown Tire Pros and Auto Repair. This is Kevin. How may I help you? Hey, uh, I was wondering uh, if I can come in and get an alignment done, or how much an alignment is. Yes, I can definitely help you out with that. Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name is Mike. I'm Hey, Mike, have you ever done business with us before? I have not. I'm new to the area. All right. Well, you definitely called the right place. Uh, hold on just a moment. Let me check my schedule. Okay. Uh, well, I've got good news. I can get to you right now, or I can set you up for 1 o'clock. Which one of those will work for you? Uh, one, 1 o'clock would be better, but how much, uh, how much would it run me to get an alignment done? Well, alignments, uh, what I would like to do, first of all, is get it in and get it checked out. We'll give you a free alignment check, make sure that's that's the problem with it. You know, it could be a tire problem or something else. Uh, our alignments start at $89, and we've actually got a coupon out that we can apply for $10 off on that today. How many vehicles do you have in your family? Um, I have two. I have mine and my wife's car. All right. Well, we do all kinds of automotive repair from A to Z, and I'd definitely like to be your car guy forever. Okay, perfect. Yeah, uh, I'll definitely come in at 1 o'clock. Okay. Can I have a phone number to lock you in? Yeah, it's uh, 222-2222. All right. Well, we'll see you at 1 o'clock. Thanks for calling. I, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, Kevin, that was better. That was better. You know, um, I, I like the way you asked about how many cars he had in his family and his conversational. And look, we want to take care of all your needs. That's what I do. You know, you do it your own style and you have a nice professional, a different tempo than Mike, you know, but very effective. How did that make you feel the way he handled that one, Michael? I liked it, especially the fact when he, to be honest, since he did ask how many vehicles I had in my family, it made me think about my wife's car. And real in real life, I actually had, I was supposed to bring my wife's car in to get it looked at, but I totally forgot to bring it. Uh, but no, see, it makes me it makes me remember. It makes me think. Oh yeah, my wife's car needs work too. And the fact that he told me he does everything from A to Z makes me want to ask him the question when I get up there. Hey, do you do this on this for my wife's car? So I mean, I felt like that. I felt that approach was a lot better than the last one for sure. Yeah. So this opening. CFR is 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 not just to work the script; it's to ask questions about people, to get to know people. You know, so I thought it was a good a good question 
uh, Kevin, to ask, where do you work in the neighborhood? Because when you when you know that the guy works two miles away, I have a shuttle yeah. service for you. Drop the car off. We'll take you to work, and then we'll pick you up. Doesn't get better than that. Wow, that saves me a lot of time. So that's so that's this is a time to ask questions. So that was great, great work, Kevin. And he said, "Look, my job, we do it all. I don't know my own, my from A to Z, from bumper to bumper. Did, how did that resonate with you when he said we do it from A to Z? On uh, did that make sense to you, Michael? Oh yeah." Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, to me, and to me, it didn't, there could be, there could be some, there could be maybe some people that maybe saying bumper to bumper is a little more understanding for some customers that don't know car stuff. But I mean, I mean, I know A to Z is pretty self-explanatory, but when he said it to me, I, I understood exactly what he was saying for sure. You understood it. For me personally, I might, uh, Kevin, instead of saying A to Z, I might say bumper to bumper, Michael, anything automotive related, we help you with anything. Doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. So just something A to Z. Eh, I don't know what for me. I questioned it. Um, we're getting we're getting very granular here, but it all it all makes a difference. What sounds better? Let's just go around the room. What sounds better from A to Z or bumper to bumper? Let's get some opinions. Michael was OK with it. What, do you, what about you, Steve? Oh, I think either way works. Uh, I think most people, when it comes to cars, they're probably used to hearing bumper to bumper. I think that term is, that, that phrase is used a little bit more often. I'm just trying to give uh, Kevin some feedback. Uh, Brian, what about you? Bumper to bumper or A to Z? Mm, bumper to bumper is more car talk, but to me it's kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. Yeah, I mean, if I were to choose, I would say bumper to bumper for me. Experiment with see see what how what people resonate with, Kevin. The other, the, the other thing, Kevin, is like we, we you know I really liked when you said the first go around. You said today's your lucky day about the appointment. Why didn't you say that the next time? I don't know. I guess I left it out. <laughs> well, but, but here's the guys guys here, here here's the point. As a performer, if I have to sing Mustang Sally, I sing Mustang Sally. If I have to do the national anthem, I do the national anthem. I don't change it every time. That's part of your problem in the business, not just you, Kevin, everybody. You guys ad-lib it. Steve, I know Steve, I might, here's my assessment. Steve is pretty rigorous with his approach. My invitation to you is get rigorous with your approach. I thought it, it really – today's your lucky day. Boom. Make that, make that one of your signature moves. Who doesn't like to have a lucky day? Great news. That works too. Great news. I got great news for you. Today's your lucky day. <clears throat> so I'm just saying the rigor, the rigor with the approach for everybody is really important. And just get really, really, really good at doing simple stuff that works. What do you think, Kevin? Yeah, sounds great. Yeah, because if you have your approach and you change it every time, it, then it's not an approach. It's like it's like random. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. So get really, 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 and ask the questions. Write down. I loved your question. How many cars do you have in the family? Where do you work? Do you work nearby? Cool. I got a shuttle service. Boom. Good work, guys. Good work. Big game today. Let's hit the ball hard, all right? You got it. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Brian. Have a, great, right. have a great day, guys. Be good. Thank you, too. Bye-bye.